Intuition, by definition, is a thought before your brain overcomplicates it. I believe intuition is the roadmap to your personal happiness and success. Allow this awesome conversation to inspire you to just be more of you. I'm your host, Jimmy Ward Mize, and welcome to Inspired by Jimmy L. Hey everyone, happy Friday. You know what today is, it's your weekend motivation and I'm very serious about this segment of the show. So I'm hoping that you are at least playing your part within this show and within the weekend motivation and still in all of the nuggets that are being taught to you. Um, excuse me, in fact, today I learned a completely new lesson. Craziest thing that I've ever known actually, or one of, but I've done an MRI I'm used to those. I've done several different tests in my life. And so, you know, in an MRI, you have these big, huge machines. You lay on this flat table, you slide in, and this machine is making all of this noise around you. <gasps> well, today I had to have a CAT scan done. Really weird. So I walk in, and there's this big machine, yet again, and you have this table that's kind of laying out. And you get on the table, I lie down. She says, we have to do an IV today. Immediately, I'm getting a little upset, frustrated. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have the hiccups. But I said, an IV? <laughs> okay, like why? If I'm just going to this machine, you guys are going to just do an x-ray. Why do I have to have an IV? <laughs> so she goes off and she explains why she had to do the IV. Um, they wanted to push in a dye or something. And she, her words to me. She said, um, she said, have you ever had the wah, 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 wah? I'm saying it because I don't know what it's called. Because when she said IV and I needed an IV, my brain just clicked off. <laughs> but she said, well, it goes through your body and it makes you feel like you've wet yourself. I said, this is going to make me feel like I don't pee myself. <laughs> I don't know if I want that. And <laughs> she continued on to say, hey, it's just a dye. Um, it just sends tingles through your, your body. Excuse me. It sends tingles through your vine and just give us, again, unable to be able to see your, you know, your, your vines and everything on the screen. So I said, okay. So she pushes it in and she was like, are you going to be okay with the IV? And I said, I'm, I'm going to be fine. I don't have a problem with needles. I just don't like people sticking me consistently and having to get into it get into my arm and, and dig around like uh -uh. I don't like that so she said okay so she goes in and she of course couldn't find the vein immediately so she finally did um, she does her thing she sends the, <laughs> the dye and, and everything through my system and, and, um, it, it gets a feeling kind of tingly but what happened next is what scared the hell out of me the entire time while I'm talking to her, she what you got to do and get out, get out of here because it's the end of the day. I want to do what I got to do. It's the end of the day and I got to go. So <laughs> she was like, okay, well, we're going to get through this. Not even 10 seconds later, tears are just coming down my face. And I couldn't figure out why. Like, I didn't understand. I didn't understand it. So I'm like, it wasn't until after the machine started and I'm sitting there because this, this machine has all of these blowers around it so it's blowing all of this cold air and so they have this heated blanket on top of me and it's weighing me down so I'm, I, I'm like okay like I'm feeling good I'm feeling comfortable but tears are falling down my face and so I'm sitting there and I'm wondering like why and it was in that moment I realized that my body was trying to tell my brain that I was in pain that my body was trying to tell my my brain that that needle hurt. My body was trying to tell my brain that, hey, this doesn't feel good and I don't like it. But my brain had already been conditioned to say, I got this. <laughs> I got your back. And what you're dealing with right now is nothing. It really doesn't hurt at all. You, you got this. And so for 
week. To remind yourself that we're out this weekend. So don't let your body, let me rephrase that. Let the Your body, tell your mind to raise a and tell you that there is an issue changing better of you. They already up to be reminded of that in today. Your mind is a thing. And all of those, asp those aspirations, that vision board, those motivational tapes, and inspiration. Beautiful, wonderful videos to be watching. It's, it's slowly conditioning our mind. And our mind is finally taking this place. It's finally taking our mind over at the right place in this world. And I am ecstatic. But I definitely want to encourage, as well as encourage myself, that we cannot allow our body to tell us what our mind should be thinking. It's really the opposite of right. opposite. So you should end up feeling just the opposite. So again, I remind you that no matter what's going on with you this weekend, no matter what company you have for, for the moment, and again, excuse my hiccups, it just happened all of a sudden, but whatever you got going on, don't let your circle of bodies dictate what's going on in your mind. <laughs> There's no at the end of the day. It's all on you. Mm. I loved it. Oh, I love it. <sighs> to be continued. Hopefully next time without the hiccups. <laughs> and excuse my voice, I really think the medicine has done something to me where it's <laughs> kind of taking, taking my voice and, and doing its own thing. But anyway, have an awesome weekend. I really hope you enjoy this pre-weekend motivation. And as always, I love you guys. See ya. O-M-G. <laughs> okay, you totally just received some excellent knowledge, and I know that you loved it. If you did truthfully love it, I need your help. By all means, share this podcast with everyone that you know. Don't hold all of this knowledge to yourself. We need your ratings. We need your reviews. We need your comments. And we need your shares. But only share it, only comment if you received some damn good knowledge today. I know that you did, so I'll wait on your reviews to start coming in. <laughs> okay, until the next one. See ya.